Or what are some good poses here that I can do? Is this, is this a pose? It is a pose. If you've got a stomachache. <laughs> this is a stomachache pose. Now you get to see what my world's about. You've spent 10 weeks with me, and you get to see why I like to come to work. Because we get to have people's bodies and lives change. I mean, look at these guys. All four have changed completely. All right, the guy who's been doing the least amount of work. Let's see the least amount of numbers. We're done. This is it. This is this is the end. I am so happy that I made it through. I am happy that I made it through. For sure, I did not think that I was gonna continue. I am not disappointed in any of my numbers. I let me let me put it this way. I'm not disappointed in any of my numbers because I disappointed myself long, long ago by making the decision like, you know what? I'm only gonna give this 80% the whole time. So now the numbers are 80% and so I'm not disappointed. So Joe is the lazy guy. We all know the lazy guy. He's somebody that would have done zero left on his own. But here, he was able to do 80% as he keeps stating to all of us. His around. That is very nice at 45. What we're looking for when we do these superhero makeovers, what you might be looking for at home, is to create the V, the taper, from the shoulders down to the waist. Now the waist started at 34.75. This is the big thing, this is the taper. It ends up at 31 and a quarter. All right, that's down. Wow. He had a taper of 8.25 to begin with. His shoulders were 8.25 inches wider than his waist. At the end, we have a taper of 13.75 from the shoulders to the waist. That's a huge difference. That's a change of 5.5 inches in 10 weeks. That is incredibly dramatic. Okay, we started at a body fat of 20.15. I stopped eating. We ended up at nine. That was over an 11% body fat percentage change. That's unreal. He did all this and he really didn't kill himself. I didn't do much, no. This was like a casual, like sure, I'll go to the gym. Don't do that. I feel like I've been doing a sustainable amount, okay, a little bit more than sustainable amount of work. We talked a lot about giving 110%, and 110% is hard. People have jobs, people have babies. I have jobs and babies and wives. And to be able to give 80% of my effort and still get these results, I, I feel okay. I feel okay about that. If he had just put in that extra 20%, I mean, he got abs, he's got the cuts coming in, just that much more. His numbers would have been through the roof had he just given me that extra 20%. It's that extra 20% that make all the difference. Mr. 80% right here. That's what they call me. His parents are proud. Oh, look at this. A little cotton here. The little sex look underwear line. Sex underwear line, is that what they call that? Yeah, take it. So with Clint, at the beginning, no one realized how far he actually had to go. Man, I feel good. I just feel good about it. I feel like this is the most excited I've been throughout this whole process, because uh, it worked. It's like I'm exhaling now. Like, oh, it worked, thank God. He started off with a weight of 212 and a body fat of 25.1, which I think surprised him even at the beginning. Not, it just doesn't get any more comfortable. <laughs> Your hands aren't cold. Now that we've moved into the summer, his hands are way warmer. I'm rooting for 11. You're rooting for 11? Yeah. How about this? 8.5 people. What? Are you serious? Yeah, look at you. He ended up at a weight of 176 with a body fat of 8.5. I was legitimately shocked by the 8% body fat. I cut it by what, like a third? 30, 33-ish percent? Whatever the math is, but eight is like a third of 20, eight is a third of 24, so less than a third, like I can't even wrap my mind around math right now. The V with Clint started off at 48 around, and his waist was 39.5. 
that was 8.5 separation. That's an okay V. We ended up with 46.75 around and a 32.75 waist, making that a 14 inch V, huge. And no wonder none of my pants fit. Oh, also, stupid left arm caught up to awesome right arm. So that was good news. Uh, I was really surprised. I spent the last three weeks of this thing literally just doing everything one arm at a time and doing a little extra with my left arm. And if my left arm crapped out, I would, I would you know, cool it on my right arm. So, so that really worked. I was, I was amazed at how quickly I was able to bring these into balance just by doing it that way. All you have to do five days a week, three hours a day for 10 weeks in the gym and you get balance. That's it. That's literally all you have to do. It's no, so absolutely easy. not. You have to do it right. <laughs> oh, well. When you cast a superhero in a movie, usually they're pretty close to where they need to be and we get them excellent. Clint started as the guy you wouldn't cast in the movie and ended up as the guy you would cast in the movie, which is unreal. In 10 weeks to change that much. He did the workouts, he did the cardio, he stayed on the nutrition, and he took the subs. All four things. You need all four things to get you from point A to point B. You need to take the Hollywood subs so that your body recovers faster, so we're ready to go again. And it helps you lean out and gain more muscle. He did everything he was supposed to do at 100%. You see, Joe? That's 100%. You're 80%. I go with the 100%. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed. <laughs> My biggest takeaway is that this is this is really, really, really hard. And I did it because I'm a director and I wanna know what an actor goes through in order to be able to do this. And now I know at 80% of what they're gonna go through. It's it's great, you know, being able to to tell them like, listen, I know how it is. I've been I've been there, I've done that, but give me that extra 20%. You know, I can preach and tell them like do as I say, not as I did. The thing that I'm taking away from this whole process more than anything else is like, I totally understand how my body works now. Uh, to the point where I'm a little curious about how I'm going to, to wean myself off of this process. It's gonna be weird to not be doing this anymore, but especially with the knowledge, it's, it's like, it's like, you know, when the hobbits do the whole Lord of the Ring thing and they get back and they're just having a drink in their little hobbit hole. Nobody else there knows what they just went through but they know, but that beer tastes different. And I think that's what my next beer is gonna be like. <laughs> like I, I really, I really wanna start drinking beer again. But the good news is, I know what that beer does to me and if I really need to work off that beer, I know exactly how to and then like, I don't know, it's just, point is I'm a hobbit. Thankfully for the shoot, I'll be directing, so I am written minimally into the script. However, I'm still showing up in spandex, full on spandex in front of everyone. I feel confident that one, I have the physicality in order to be able to pull off some of the stunts that we're gonna have to be pulling off. And two, being able to coach these guys through it because I've been with them for so long. I feel like I know them a little bit better, so I'll be a better director in that way too. The head to toe spandex wardrobe kind of threw me a little bit. Uh, to start with, but now that I'm down to 8% body fat, I'm, I'm gonna rock it. Weirdly excited about putting head-to-toe spandex on. Going through this whole process has given me the confidence to wear head-to-toe spandex in front of a group of strangers. I don't know what else there is to say about it. It's, it's been crazy. It's life-changing crazy. If you can do something like this, if you have the means or the will to do something like this, do it. Hey guys, thank you for watching another episode of Superhero in Training. Only a couple left. Make sure to come back next week to find out about Cruz and Juliana and all of their final measurements. And it's, it's so exciting. It really is. In the meantime, the Superhero in Training workout videos are still available for pre-order. Just follow the uh, links in the description down below. A lot of you have pre-ordered already and that's awesome. So, thank you to everybody who's pre-ordered. Thank you to everybody who is going to pre-order. I'll see you next week.